Because many people think that result is the karma. Result is not the karma. Result is the result of karma. So karma, technically speaking, the action with the intention, your strong intention, is the conscious action that leaves a mental imprint, that leaves a habit, that builds a habit. So that's why all our experience that we have is known as confused tendency because it is a is a confused mind based on our earlier way of looking way of doing it's a tendency based, based on our karma klesha is a mental activity like jealousy hatred anger they create problem to you and once you have that active klesha within you then it wants to bring others in problem as well you are now already part of the klesha when it become active and you want to pass that on to others so if you are if you're angry you want to make others angry and it's very contagious it can influence others and it makes oneself painful that's why it's called klesha painful in mind and sometimes you don't even notice that you are in pain it's so painful to the point that you are addicted to it and you make others just to make it up you want to make others painful the result of the karma is usually known as dukkha dukkha means uneasy probably that word is closest to the dukkha suffering does not necessarily mean uh, some physical pain because most of our sufferings are related with our mind there are a lot more kind of suffering and pain in our mind than in our body so it's important to look inwards rather than outwards